SCF College. It's really beautiful here. Turn around so you can see what's behind me. They have this really nice uh, walk around this pond. And you got all kinds of birds. I have other videos um, from last semester with us here and recording. So check it out. There are alligators in there. I was telling Noah where I grew up in Western Ohio. I was telling him how you can never go home back to the past where you grew up. You could try, and but if you've been away for a while, either A, the whole town has changed. For our town, it's changed completely. The schools have closed down. The YMCA that I grew up is closed. Also, even if the town is similar to how it was when you left, you may come back and you've grown because you've traveled, you've gone to college, you've just become a different person from your experiences. And when you come back, it seems like maybe the people are the same, but you've changed, so they might seem a little different. So it could be kind of weird. <laughs> I don't think that we should try to look for our past. Yes, there are many good things that we might have enjoyed as children, or who we were, or the people we were with. Unfortunately, we lost, you know, grandparents or parents or siblings and other loved ones, family members, so it's just not the same anymore. I think the important thing is to move on to the future. Make your home wherever it is that you are. Home is where you make it. Yes, it's nice remembering things from the past, but trying to go find it, it might be an impossible thing to do. So I guess my main point is just make your home where you are and where your loved ones are and look to the future and not to the past because that's where your life is. It's not in the past anymore. As I said in the other video, good, bad, or the ugly, it's not there anymore. We are in our present and we're moving into the future every second as we breathe and speak. There's a lot of great things that we can make happen in our future and we can make many pl different places our homes. It doesn't have to be just one place. When I say a home, it's not a house or a condo or an apartment or any type of shelter. You know, it's where your heart is. It's where you are and not the building that you are in. So that's uh, something to think about. You'll probably see us making more videos here at the college since Willow started school and Noah's into this Pokemon. so. I guess they're like all over this place. Is that right, Noah? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Gotta find some Pokemon. I don't know how to play it. I let him use my phone for a little bit. Because yeah. I'm too old-fashioned to have a phone. <laughs> it's just very expensive is what the problem is. I told Noah he'll have to make his own money so he can get his own phone. It's, it's costly. I'm on the hunt for alligators. Isn't it just beautiful? Look at that color today. The sky and the, the coloring of the day. But this is a originally a com just a community college and now they have some four-year degrees and they're adding new ones all the time. I'm not sure, but I think USF might have something to do with them here as well. I don't know if they just have some classes or if you can actually get a degree through them here. I don't know. You would have to look on the internet and see. But it's so close to home, it's really worked out for us. And from here, Willow will go to another university. And Noah, he just has to finish up his homeschooling and he'll decide from there what he'll do. <laughs> time disappear, leaving <laughs> we were just walking to Willow's building since she should be out soon and it was fine and it just started raining out of nowhere so thankfully I'm under that that's all right it was getting real humid all of a sudden it was fine and then it got real humid and then boom it started raining how it is down here. There's white stuff. Look. There's ash falling? Yeah, look. Check it out. Oh, there's a fire. 
You see that white stuff? That's ash. It's I smell it. it. It is ash. I smell the smoke. I get fires down here quite it's often. Oh, I'm soaked. I gotta hurry and get in here. I am soaked. I'm not kidding. Look at me. I'm wet. Soaked. It doesn't look like it's going to slow down. How am I going to get to my car? Oh dear, now I see lightning. Quick. That came out of nowhere. Hopefully she'll get out of class soon. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> Need a shower? Just step right there, folks. I have a craving for madeleine. Do you folks eat madeleine? Mmm, they're so good. Willow makes the best one. We don't have the proper pan to make them so they look all pretty, but they're good. Nice with some tea. Mmm, gonna have some of that tonight. If she'll make them for me. I'll have to give her my puppy face look, you know. <laughs> the only way I can get her to make anything for me extra special. <laughs> She's a good kid. And of course, my dear boy will assist Willow, won't you? Yes. And make a Madeline. You like them too. Yes, it's more like we just drag, grab my collar, pull me out of my room, and scream at me that I'm That was scary. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, she's gonna scream at me to make cookies. Then she'll stand by and watch me take care. I was talking about this with my friend Cheryl. The one who introduced me to the Young Living Essential Oils business opportunity. And we were saying how the first child is usually the boss. And Willow's the boss in the family. <laughs> There's only two of us. And it's like my family from eight kids. My sister's the oldest. She's the boss. <laughs> and Noah tries to get out of things. It doesn't work in our family. We don't let that happen. <laughs> Everybody has a chore. Everybody has their errands. Oh! That was a silent one. It wasn't silent. How many seconds was that? Is that true about yeah, the, how that, far it that, is? That was like three or four seconds. But I heard that's not true. I don't know. If I heard it was true. Like the distance. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody here knows. I have the smartest subscribers on the planet. Comment below. Is it true how many seconds away from the time you see lightning to the time you hear it? Does that tell you how far it is? I don't know. The sky's already clearing up. Here, I'll turn it around and show you. You see that? The clouds are actually clearing up. The rain is slowing down. Here, let me turn that way. You see that? That's the kind of rain you typically have here in Florida. 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, but then it goes away. It's not like a full day affair, unless, of course, it's a big system crossing uh, Florida. Well, now it's picking up again. It'll stop. It's just these big clouds that come by. You can see how thick like that one is. That's the one dropping rain. You see how thick it is? Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Take a picture. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, livingfree207. That's our Instagram account. Follow us. We put pictures up of where we go and what we do. I'd like to see you there. Good night. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to share and we'll see you next time.